Come in. Ah, Penbury. Come in, boy. Take a seat. Please. Well, Penbury, the last day of term and your last day at Westerbridge. Yes, sir. And how long have you been here, Penbury? Five years? Yes, sir. Five years. And you know, Penbury, in all that time, I've never really had the opportunity to spank your bottom. <laughs> Sorry, sir? I mean, I've never really had need to administer corporal punishment to you. No, sir. Because you've been a very good boy, haven't you, Penbury? How old are you, Penbury? Eighteen, sir. Are you answering back, boy? No, sir. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not sure you've suffered enough, you see, Penbury. I like to think that when a boy leaves Weatherbridge, he's well and truly prepared for life, be it university or apprenticeship or cheeks that are plump and around like <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Craddock's third law, Penbury? No, sir. Beat them firmly with a stout whisk. <laughs> Did you do that, Penbury? No, sir. No, oh, Penbury, you disappoint me. Do you think I'd really like someone to come in now and see you laid across my knee having your bare bottom smacked? <laughs> Will that be all, sir? I promise you that'll be all on my word of honour. <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, can I go now, sir? I don't think you can get out of it that way, Penbury. I'm afraid your bottom deserves to be lacerated into a pulp. I... <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> You've been asking for this for some time, Africa. 